Hey guys, this is Jason here with Inkspit Designs, and uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different than we, anything we've done before. Um, a while back ago, I, I created several PlayStation 3 themes, um, actual uh, themes for the, the platform, for some of the communities that I'm involved in. Um, and I have had several special requests to go through how I did those, um, uh, specifically for uh, Mr. D Sonics. Um, so this is a make good for him specifically to uh, to go through that process and show how how that's done. Um, so here on my website under the, the gaming podcast community, uh, this is uh, inkspit.com. If anybody's interested in these, there's a few uh, a theme here for the T Suck uh, group, which is a podcast that I listen to. Um, one for Beast Mode Gaming, which is another podcast, and then Mr. D Sonics, his theme here that uh, he won in a contest that we sponsored. So we're going to start out first uh, by downloading, first you download this little program called PS3 Theme Builder. And I'll put a description, or I'll put a link in the description here on this video of where you can go download it. Um, as it starts up, it asks me to do the update. I have had all kinds of trouble doing the update, so I just use the, I, I believe it's the, it says here current version 2.5, but I think I'm even using 2.0. Um, so it works fine for me, so I'm going to click no. So you open it up, and if you're creating a theme from scratch, you obviously hit new theme down here in the bottom left corner. Uh, I'm going to show you one that I, one of the ones that I have built. And the nice thing about this is that once you have them built, you can go back and add new uh, backgrounds and change them very easily later. So I hit open, I'm going to go into the Beast Mode Gaming theme, and you can see it's an XML file. And once I click open, um, I get all the stuff that I've done in it so far. And so just starting off from this first page, the theme information page, you can see you can add an icon for the theme, and this actually shows up when you go in and look at the details, the information tab on the, the PlayStation. Um, this is the information that shows up there, the author icon, which is me. You get a little preview of the theme here, and then the author information, URL um, for the, the theme or, or where you want them to go, etc., etc. Um, so from here we go to the, the next tab, which is the icons. This is the, the icons that show up on the XM by, the XMB. And uh, the most important thing to remember here is that you can create your own icons, you can have them be whatever you want, but they must be, I believe it's, uh, uh, I have them all set at 128 pixels uh, by 128 pixels, exactly square. If they're any different than that, I believe um, they won't show up at all. And the other thing is they must be PNG files. And it will tell you when you try to add them in here, it will tell you that they need to be those things. So as you can see here, uh, we've gone through and we've customized a few of them. There's there's a ton of them because you've got the the, uh, the main menu icons and then the sub menu icons. And so for some of these, there's a lot. So all I did is I, I actually created a few um, that were the the main ones. And as you can see here, um, if I go through some of these, these are some that I created for them. Um, the LAV from Battlefield, a plane here. These guys are big Battlefield players. So the grenade from uh, this game, uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 now that these guys play, and then a, a handgun. So as we look th at the theme later, once it's completely built, you'll see those running along the top. So there you go. Add the, the icons, the, the XMB icons there. Next step is the backgrounds. Now here uh, we have a couple options. We want to add, and you can have, I believe, up to 16 different backgrounds, I think, so, think it is, per theme. So what happens is you turn on the PlayStation, and if you have this theme bar installed and, and running, it will randomly add or randomly load one of the, the wallpapers um, each time that you, you start up the PlayStation. So you can add a uh, HD background for HD TVs, and it also has an option here for an SD background. And I believe you have to have an SD background loaded, which is nice because it means that if somebody's using an old CRT TV or something that's not HD, um, they can still use the theme and it won't, it won't give them any errors or problems. Um, and all you do is you can have a couple different modes here, but you go to Browse for um, HD Theme, and you just pick the wall pa the papers that you have um, there. And I actually have some that I did originally. So um, we've got this one here, uh, this one here just in the red color, Beast Note Mode Gaming there, this one, and then finally I think this one. I think that's the last one. Um, and these are, uh, let's see, the resolution on these, I believe these are set at, at 1080p, so, and then it'll scale down if you 
uh, have somebody using a 720p TV. So go ahead and load those in, and uh, the next thing you want to do, additional com commands, you go in here, you can actually add sound, I've never done this in any of my themes, add sounds, I guess, apparently, to, to go with uh, when you're moving the controller around the XMB and the interface. Um, have that kind of stuff here, and then upload theme. You can actually upload it to sites like PS3 themes and, and whatnot. Um, I haven't done that either. I just uploaded it to my own website for people to download. So basically that's the interface there for the little PS3 theme builder. Very simple. You just design the the items, the backgrounds, the icons, whatever you want to customize, and then you load it all in here. Once you've done that, all you do, um, and, and you need to click on this front page generate preview. Once you do that, um, it will give you a preview of what it's going to look like, um, and that's what it will load into this this screen here on the, the top that will show up on the PlayStation. Once you do all that, all you do is click Build Theme. And we're going to do that right now, and what you'll see is that you get a little DOS window here with a whole bunch of code that runs. It actually is compiling all the, the icons and wallpapers and putting them into a package. And it says press Enter key when done, so we're going to do that. And there you go, it's done. Go back to this Additional Commands tab, click Extract uh, P3T, which is the actual theme file. That's the, the file that they, they show up in. And if we go here to our folder, we see it here, bmgtheme.p3t. That's the file. We actually take that. We'd upload it, you know, email it to your friends, upload it to a PS3 theme uh, website for other people to use. Anything you want to do, you can do it that way. And that's that's all there is to it. Um, looking forward to that. There's no themes yet, apparently, with the PS4. You can't even change the background or the wallpaper, but if I remember right, that's how it was with the PS3 for the first little while. So eventually we'll get some PS4 themes going. Uh, but that's basically all you do to uh, to create your own PS3 theme. And then you can, can add it, send it off to people, do whatever you like. All right, this has been Jason with Inkspit Designs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to us. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Inkspit, at Inkspit with two Ts. Uh, same thing on Facebook. Find us there. And uh, we'll talk at you later.